G'day mate and welcome back to Factory Town with me, JD. Now I know there's some fans out there that'll be going, Factorio! Um, yes, Factorio will be coming back. When are you going to see this video? I think you're going to see this video on... Sometime over the weekend. You'll be watching this video, well, my weekend. Um, so that means you, you should be seeing, getting back to our regularly scheduled Factorio probably probably not gonna definitely confirm it but probably early monday my monday um don't forget everything's based on sydney time so yeah we're gonna leave that there anyway we needed a school now school is like your deposit of all resources um so i'm actually gonna put it here near our base just in case this random crap we need to take into the base uh, now, the first thing we have to do is craft paper. Now, hang on. Our paper is now... Lumber mill. That one. It's made in a lumber mill, which needs water. Now, if we go back to a lumber mill, if you see any area that's got blue on it, which, of course, is right where our school has been put, um, automatically gets supplied with water. So I actually want to delete the school. Uh, buildings, lumber mill. I want the lumber mill as close as possible. And then I want the school right beside that. I'm going to want a chute between the two. And I'll make sure it faces the right way. And then we need to select a, 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 a research. So we're going to start with farming. Which means writing supplies, being papers, books, or enchanted book, uh, and along with gold, and that'll give us some some actual research. So, we're gonna need more houses. Uh, these are all level two houses. We have plenty of supplies still. So let's get another house. Now, house having these have these these exit paths, but nothing exits a house, so we don't have to worry about blocking these things in. We've just got to make sure that we have plenty of room between them. And unfortunately, my lumber mills in the wrong position needs to be moved over slightly. Uh, you're taking stuff to there. Okay. So can you come here and then take stuff? So you just move back and forth. Nice and... No, you're still going to be stubborn. Fine. All right. Point is, we've now got some room for some new workers. So we're going to need a guy to cut lumber. We're going to need another guy over here to take grain to there. Uh, we want you to do paper instead, actually, please. Uh, which needs two wood. Oh, does our paper move? No, our paper can't go on a chute. Damn. Okay, get rid of the chute. I'll... Put it back just in case. No. Actually, you know what we'll do? Uh, remove selected type. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to delete that just in case it's getting blocked up. Because I thought... Lumber mill. I actually thought paper did transfer. So maybe it was getting blocked by... Ow. No. Paper does not roll on a chute. Ah. Okay. Uh, remove blocks. Go away. Remove blocks. Pop that there. So we're going to have to put a single worker here in the middle. And you watch this. You go there to there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Done. Instant transportation. But it also means I can throw more workers at, at, at the job. Get you to cut there. Can I fit another one around this side? I can. Build, worker, dump him. Oh, really? They're all maxed out. <sighs> okay. So I want to move this lumber mill. Uh, lumber mill. I want to slide that down there. So I want you to do timber to there. 
I want you to do trees to there. I want you to do trees to there. And wherever the hell that cart went. You? You got no orders. So you were doing timber there to there. Okay, we're good to go again. Oh, we're starting to run really low. Okay, I, I don't get this with, with workers. You, there to there. You, there to there. Like, like as short a distance as possible. Unfortunately, it looks like we've just about maxed out what this guy can handle. Um, we do have, we have a decent supply of, of wheels, but not a lot. Uh, okay, you wagon can come sit here. Because we've emptied out our stone, our excess stone. And our stone mason, our one wagon is, is keeping up with that. So that's fine. You're making excess planks. You're delivering planks. We're going pretty good here. Yeah, I think this guy's actually a little bit slow. So let's pull you off. We have a spare wagon, so the wagon can do that job instead. Uh, and I think maybe that this is not fast enough. So we're going to throw another worker at the job. Not enough spare population. Oh, that's right. That's what we're trying to fix. Um, okay. So we want to... Um, tools. Flatten terrain. I want to flatten out all this. Because I'd really like to build some more houses. I'm going to make sure I don't block things for my cart. I'm going to make sure I have the... The, not that gradient. Uh, the right gradient for my cart to make it up and down. And obviously that's the wrong one currently. Uh, tools, raised terrain. There you go. You can make it up a half step. Uh, go away. See, it's not ha a lot happier now. Um, but I also want to path remove these because I think I'm about to build houses there yeah so that's still inside that one's not inside so we can still build one there and we can upgrade that and we just had a research complete which I pretty much missed so I'll bring that path around uh, Okay, so you're just waiting on lumber, which is not enough workers. So I've got a spare worker here. Throw you into the into the mix. Uh, school has finished. So hang on. You get back here. So we're going to try the next one early. Try doing herbs there and try doing wood there. So we want to do forestry. And uh, no, it won't let me. All right, so you can both drag trees into there. No, 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 no. Oh, you gotta go empty that. Oh, that's annoying. All right, so we're gonna do forestry as our next research. Um, end of tutorial. Yeah, press F one. Go away. Go away. Okay. Uh, so we have a farm. We have a well. Um, I'd really love, I'd love to build a lot of things, but we really want to plan this out because we really want to make sure, like with Factorio, building on top of yourself is not so bad because you can always come back with bots and fix things really, really fast. With this being a more of a logistical game, um, fixing logistical, logistical um, misconceptions from earlier is a little bit more of a nightmare to fix after the fact. Um, on top of that, we've got lots of resources we want to get out of the way. Um, like I'd really love to mine out all this stone and mine out half these trees and, and put my farmland down here. But um, now that we need to actually... So we'll, we'll, we'll build one. We'll build a farm. And okay, we're going to start at the edge of the map. 
uh, tools, no, not remove resources, uh, tools, flatten terrain. And yes, I'm going to potentially flatten the whole map if I have to. I have no qualms about flattening the whole map. Uh, if 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 I get the t if I, if if I'm given the tools to go and break everything, I will. So we want to put a farm about here. Yeah. So this will produce grain. The catch is it costs me one gold every single time it makes one grain. So I now have an income and an outgoing, which is a whole different problem. Uh, so basic logistics. Gives me a one-way, a barrier gate, a cloth conveyor belt, cloth conveyor belt, steam power, and intermediate logic. So we're going to want that. We're going to want you to dump your tree in there. There was another lad who can dump his tree in there. Uh, and then we're going to have to go on and do medicine. Okay, so we've got a farm. Now, farm has... Farm tiles, which needs fertilizer and gold. Now, we don't have any fertilizer because we haven't built a pasture. So, back all the way over here at our grain mill. Nope, not our grain mill. Building pasture. Can't afford. Oh, 50 gold. I'm broke. I had money. I had a lot of money. Oh, that's 20 gold per cycle. Oh, damn. That's literally just draining everything. Okay, we'll just turn that off for a little bit. Research got expensive. Uh, okay, you can empty that into there. You can empty that into there. Uh... Market is just keeping up with food supply. Workers are chopping down everything. We're good there. Uh, you're now making wheels again. You have heaps of planks, heaps of wheels, one herb, three grain, bit of everything, but a lot of stone bricks. So, because we're already poor, let's make it worse by putting in real roads. Each one of these is costing me one gold, don't forget. So it's going to add up real quick. But you'll see the difference when the car hits the road. Yeah. I think it's worth it. It's worth it for a better logistics system. On top of that, as long as I can plan, it lets me also easier plan where things are going to be. Nope, out of gold. Oh, it's two gold. Oh, that's right. It got, it got more expensive. Yeah, we want to we want to start upgrading level three houses, which means we need cloth, which means we need wool, which means we need more stuff. Stuff. We need stuff to go with our stuff. Okay, trees go to there. Uh, trees go to there. Come on, you work it. Go there. You're doing reading supplies. You're doing that. When I turn it back on, which is not going to be a walk for a while, because that cost us everything we had. You have a fairly large stockpile, so we're just going to leave that for the moment. Uh, okay, building. Let's put the pasture down. So I, I need to put the pasture down to unlock the next research. Animal feed. So we go back to our grain mill. We've now got an animal feed. Okay. So we want a farm. Uh, building farm. We can see its area of effect is exactly four tiles. So at more than four tiles away, we want a barn to convert our one into the other. Then we want our pasture not to go there. We want our pasture to go, we're going to say there. Okay, so it's going to be a one to a two to one. All right, simple as that, hopefully. Now we're going to use shoots this time. And then I'll make the grain go into there. And then, oops, I forgot to change the recipes. 
Barn. Oh, not a barn. Uh, wrong button. Actually, barn's not a bad idea. Okay, so let's go to a grain mill. That's the one we wanted. And we want to say animal feed. And actually, let's do a shoot. So we want uh, precise movement to change it precisely. So barn makes animal feed. Animal feed will give us wool or leather, whichever we decide. Uh, wool will let us get into clothing when we get that far. Um, problem is it outputs us two. It outputs us two separate items, and. As far as I understand, with what little game play I've actually got into the game, there's no way to choose and sort. Uh, we want a building and we want a barn, is what I'd really like. But it looks like, like none of that stuff actually goes on a shoot. <sighs> okay. So now actually what I want is a worker to fill a barn to then have a cart bring it over here even though I can't get through all these trees because these guys haven't cut hard enough. Oh, okay, so we need more housing again. Um, which is not making food fast enough and not selling food fast enough. So again, we need more houses for more people, for more workers, for more... Yeah, the story goes on. The pattern does continue. Uh, basic logistics would give me cloth conveyor belts, but I'm not that far up in technology to actually get that far. Uh, metallurgy doesn't help me. Medicine? <sighs> Lightning storm? That could be interesting. That could bring a, a swift end to this game if the power cuts out. Anyway, uh, I just realized the factory music finished. Let's hit replay on that one. All right, uh, tools, remove resources, because we really don't have another option. We need to get rid of that. To then plop down some more houses. Uh, and actually, there's another way to build now. If I hold down shift, I can actually multi-place now. Now, I wonder if I can build these guys in like sardines. Literally placing another house in these back tiles. Well, it says I can. Well, I'm right, they don't export. So, okay, so we've taken our food problem and we've emphasized it by adding more people. Let's throw down another couple of workers. Uh, we'll extend our shoot out. Move, little person. Move, move. Come on. Oh. You. There to there. Build path shoot there. Okay, so I want... No, can we, can we, can we... You harvest to there. You harvest to there. You harvest to there. Because they can put onto the shoot anywhere. Alright. We're still poor. You're a surplus of trees. Uh, oh, I want to hit research. We're at 7 of 40. But if I change you to medicine, we're still at 7 of 40. Okay, which, but it does mean I can get this guy and start drinking herbs in. Have no idea how high this will stack. Maybe it'll stack to a hundred. Um, stack to z so this is inactive. Okay. All right. But we did want so we wanted a worker in here. Worker, right there to do the job of shoveling both those items there to there. So he'll literally just empty all the wool and then all the fertilizer, then all the wool and all the fertilizer, whichever has 
whichever he starts on, I think. And then we want some workers, another one, another wagon. And I'm hoping the wagon can get from there to there. Does not look like it. Okay. Uh, Alright, you can just move over there for now. We have our fertilizer in a barn. Because it's in a barn, it's in the network. So that means at least I can use it. So we could go down to tools, blocks, farm tile. At least we can start placing farm tiles, which of course will make our farm faster. Uh, so it's at 55% currently, and the more we add, the faster we'll get. Now, if I can't add buildings, so I can put a workshop like here. And we'll have you make cloth. It's not going to fix the problem. But it might improve it. So you're going to... You're going to make... Grain... At a dollar each piece. That's... that's that's This is now costing us money. You're going to turn the grain into animal feed. You're going to turn the animal feed into wool and fertilizer. The fertilizer is going to sit in here to let us build more farm tiles to make this go faster. And the wool we're going to turn into cloth. Which really I'd like another barn for. I'd really like another barn. Okay, first off, does it shoot? No. It does not shoot. But it probably does barn. Oh, I don't want a lumber mill. I want a buildings, a barn, no stone, no raw stone. Because we were converting all of it and we haven't changed that. Okay. All right. Same story. Shoot here, here, here. You there to there. You there to there. A little bit less distance he's got to walk. Hopefully it'll help. Uh, that wagon is going to take raw stone from there to there instead. So it'll take a while to build up with some raw stone. But we'll get raw stone moving again. Uh, we can go back to pathing and put down our roads. Just click and hold. Uh, and then around here. Uh, and now when you click and hold, it'll draw in a straight line. Um, so if I go left, I can go right, but I can't go up or down. I, and, and it's one of those things I love about this game. Um, just, just those simple additions right from square one. Okay, so we've got some money again. So we're going to turn that back on. Now we can see we've got a 15% speed increase because people are happy. They're not ecstatic, but they're happy. Uh, and if we build a... So you're backed up. You're not backed up yet, but you will get there. Uh, and if we put down more farm tiles... Uh, come on, not done. So we went from a production speed of 55 to 110 by just adding more farm tiles. And I'll, I, will, I will keep adding more farm tiles until I've maxed out the whole area. Um, we do have some stockpiling rips. So basically what I need is I need these trees. You, you, and you. Get rid of... Hey, you. Hey, you. Pay attention. I want you to do that tree. He's doing that tree. I want you to do that tree. I want that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one gone. Y you don't listen, do you? Basically, I need a path through here to get my cloth into the greater basin network. Because once I've done that... Um, 30 gold. I don't know if 30 gold. Because you're spending everything you see, aren't you? Yep. 
But we got, you know, our, our lumber dudes can do something again. That's an important start. So if I've got no gold, does that stop? I didn't see. I would assume the answer would be yes. Building... Barn, 30 gold. You're just outputting cloth. So if I put that there with a worker... And then you go cloth there to there. Uh, does that shoot? Like cloth might be one of those items that shoots. It doesn't. It doesn't. We're going to have to get up to conveyor belts. Conveyor belts will just move everything. Alright. Oh, you're not highlighted. No, you have no supplies whatsoever. You be pissed. Even though it was highlighted when I was putting it down. Alright, so our market has a reach of these guys. To get any more, we need to clear more land. These guys are trying to clear the stone. Um, these guys are trying to clear the timber. We are going all right, nothing special, um, but we are getting there bit by bit by bit. Uh, we're going to turn that one back on and send ourselves poor, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Do hope you're enjoying F Factory Town. Come on, little dude. Little buck. Little buck. Um, do hope you guys are enjoying um any thoughts any suggestions any comments all that sort of stuff down in the comment section below um and hopefully nothing goes wrong with any major updates uh in this series because i'd really like to I, I i'd really like to see how far we can get see whether we can get right the way to that end game and start playing with the mana and the other the other interesting little tidbits anyway thank you guys for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i will see you in the next one all right bye